Hi everybody, George here, back in the car and uh, just doing a little update video here of uh, what's going on. Uh, we're at 139,154 kilometers, which is 86,466 miles in old money. And uh, yeah, we have it six months, everything is going well, and we're quite pleased. Uh, she's coming up now, her test will be um, end of May, um, roadworthiness, NCT, MOT, whatever you want to call it, um, in, in whichever part of the world you're in. So we have a few things to do for that, which we'll get into um, when uh, later in the video, when we get into uh, the shed, I'll show you what I have lined up and uh, yeah so everything's been going well cars driving well no issues everything is perfect so um i got a boot fi spoiler fitted and uh, you can see that here uh, amg replica this came out of germany it was 46 euros and 16 euros delivery uh, quality is good fit is good i got it wrapped in black not happy with it uh, all creased and bubbled along the top for some reason so as it's affixed to the car now i'm going to have to take it off and uh or i'll I try to take it off but no dice so what i'm going to do is uh, later on in the year when it gets a bit warmer i am going to uh cut the wrap off and i'll mask up the back end of the car and prepare the spoiler and paint it which is what i should have done in the first place um me uh tablet on the dash here I had that in the last car it's working very well it's just a torque app uh, using the uh, ELM27 uh, Bluetooth dongle and everything is is great with that uh, works very well and you can see uh, to keep uh, an eye on things I got rid of uh, I think I, got, I used to have the tack here so I got rid of that and I changed it to air fuel ratio and 14.8 um, is the perfect uh, range on this so all is good and uh, oh, I just like this it's it's good and when I'm at work and I'm on my break and stuff I can watch YouTube and Spotify and of all that stuff I just tether my uh, phone to it for, for Wi-Fi and the jobs are good so I also fitted my uh, reversing lamps with uh, LEDs and uh, they're they're a, a big addition now uh, really lights up behind you when you're you're backing up in the dark which is always good help and um, yeah um, other than that not much else to report so we'll, we'll go into the shed now and I'll show you what I have uh, lined up in there ahead of the uh, upcoming roadworthiness uh, inspection so Let's go to the shed. Right, so here we are in the shed. Very miserable wet morning here. So, right, let's show you what's going on here. Um, I suppose I should explain to, maybe if you're not watching the channel all that long, previous to the CLK200, I had a C180 coupe, a CL203, which is more or less the same car underneath as the CLK mechanically. So um, I stripped that because I had a lot of new parts gone into it um, before I got rid of it. I had a, an issue where I could not get it to pass emissions no matter what I did. And um, I just ended up buying a different car. So uh, I'm in this to be like motoring as cheap as possible, not um, throwing money at it. And I had thrown a significant pile of money at it and um, it didn't make any difference. So all these uh the control arms and uh you have the upper and lower control arms they were not that long in it before i scrapped it so we'll say they're new those drop links are new uh these calipers are out of them all cleaned up and painted and um i didn't do take the back ones out of the old car i just left them in it so I'll, uh, I'll do the ones uh, on the CLK in the car. Uh, hub carriers all ground down and cleaned up, removed all the rust. Um, could really do with a new set of um, the disc guards, but look at they'll be grand. They'll do for another while. Um, these track rod ends, they're new. There's new uh, 
few other new bits and pieces in that box there uh, so these are the front struts uh, with the Sparco Loren springs so I can just replace the struts uh, as a complete unit uh, don't have to be faffing around with springs still a little bit of cleaning to do on them but have the, all the rust removed and have them painted I have a choice of rear springs um, these ones were in the coupe um, therefore there's the CL203 coupe the C180 and I had bought them new because uh, when it went in for its first test that it failed and one of the springs was broke so I bought a new pair so I have the choice of them or I have the Sparco springs and there's a little bit of a difference in, in length so we'll we'll try these first and see how low she sits with them and if it's not low enough then I can uh, put in them so in the braking department um, I have a pair of these obviously I just have one taken out of the box these came from M-Tech brakes in the UK and I'll just throw up their information here and uh, very high quality uh, discs and they're drilled and slotted and vented obviously so um, they will be going on the front and uh, it kind of look well in behind the alloys so um, yeah so we're making progress now so the plan is that I'll probably take a, a long weekend or something like that in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks depending on my shift pattern or whatever and uh, we'll get her up in the air and swap everything over um, on these uh, type chassis the, the, the w203 chassis all the front suspension components are the same and uh, these arms here um, are the, these bushes tend to go on them so uh, fairly regularly so uh, that's why I took out those arms I kept them because they were not that long in it and uh, yeah so a few other new bits and pieces to get like new nuts and things like that uh, they're a little bit damaged from where I battered them off I, I don't like using uh, the pickle forks to remove ball joints because um they they uh, can sometimes damage the the rubber gator on them and you can't reuse them so uh yeah there we have it and uh that's pretty much where it is for now so once we get all this lot sorted out um uh, it'll make uh, there is a warp disc in the front of it um i would suspect they're probably the original discs um so the one on the passenger side uh, well, only when you're light on the brakes now well it's still there when you stand on them but it's under light braking it's most noticeable but it could be one of these control arms as well I haven't really looked to be honest so uh, we'll just change the whole lot out and uh, then we know everything is new and everything is good so uh, yeah looking forward to getting that done and uh, she'll be sitting a little lower as well with the with this lower and springs because these I think they're 50 mil yeah I think they're 50 mil uh, lower and springs and it'll firm it up a little um, it's just a little too soft for my liking so um, I, I kind of like the suspension to be a bit firmer than it is so there you go that's where we are for the moment and uh, I'll probably just when, when I come to do this I'll probably just time lapse it and uh, we'll have a chat and a bit of a walk around at the end then uh, when everything is is changed over so oh yeah i'm waiting for some new brake hoses as well i'll do new brake hoses all the way around uh while we're at it and uh keep the boys in the the test center happy so there we are uh that's the story and we'll get you in the next one uh with the car related stuff so all the best and take care bye bye